Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup and Hustle. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Vidi, and today we are creating this look using all the makeup products that I've loved in 2021. These are products that I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed, and they were just one of those, there are those products that are just so amazing and incredible value for money. There is a mix of both high end and drugstore, so I hope you guys will enjoy that um, and if you are interested in creating this look for Valentine's Day then please stick around but before we get started I would really really appreciate if you guys hit that like button and also please subscribe to my channel for more such videos but now let's get on into today's video. Right, guys, let's jump straight in so I have three primers in front of me that have been my go-to's in 2021. Um, one of them, I haven't used as much, but like for some reason, every time I want some hydration and stuff, I always reach for the Fenty Beauty one. This is really nourishing. It's like applying a moisturizer of sorts. Um, and it's really like, it's a soft silk and I feel like it is, it is that silky texture. So I absolutely love that one. Um, and then my um, other one that was go-to, and I, I don't understand why, like, I don't know what about this primer attracts me so much to it. It's funny to say um, because it's in my top 21, but like, honestly, the NYX Marshmallow Primer, for some reason, um, I just keep reaching for it and I have no idea why that is. Like, honestly, I have no idea why, but like, it's actually a really good primer. I feel like it does help in longevity of my uh, foundation, but again, um, it's nothing to the point where I'm like, okay, yeah, you need to go get it. Like, but I still think you do, you do need to go get it. Like there's something about it, um, that I feel like just works. So this has been something that I haven't been able to put down since I got it, um, probably mid to like the last quarter of the year or something like that. And then my absolute go-tos, um, all year round since the time I got it was the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know that this has been a constant, even when I'm testing out foundations, like this is something that I reach for all, all the time. Um, and this one is a grippy primer, so it does sort of help in sticking it to your face. And also the fact that because it sort of adheres to your skin so much, it also protects that foundation from transferring off. So that's one of the reasons why I really love this, especially right now where you have to wear a mask every everywhere. See? It just sticks. It's just it just works. <laughs> so I really really love that. Okay, and then for a little bit of glow today because we're going for that Valentine's soft dewy makeup of sorts, um I am going to be adding my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have it in the shade number 4, which is medium. This is amazing. It just makes your skin look so beautiful, so glowy. I absolutely thoroughly enjoy using this. Um, I obviously got this towards the end of the year. I, I want to say in the last quarter of the year. Um, it was just recently launched here in Mecca and I absolutely, absolutely cannot get enough of it. So I'm going to be applying that all over underneath my foundation because I want that glow from within look. You can obviously use this as a highlight as well, but my preferred method is to apply that um, underneath the foundation. And I don't feel like it ex um, it accentuates any texture or anything like that. So I really do love that. My absolute favorite sponge for the year, hands down, has been the Juno & Co sponge. This is a microfiber sponge and it's got a lot of pores. It just feels like it doesn't take away from that coverage of the foundation. It feels like you're applying the foundation with a brush, but then you get that um, application of a sponge. So I absolutely, absolutely love this and I cannot recommend this enough. Um, I got mine from Mecca, um, I think that's where it's available. I'm not sure if it's available everywhere, like anywhere else, but, and it's really affordable too. So if you can get your hands on it, just give it a go. It's really, really awesome. Just look at that glow. Just look how beautiful that glow is. It's insane. See if I just increase the brightness a little bit. Um, now for foundation, I have a couple of products, well, three products, um, two of which are skin tints. Now, if you've been watching me for the last year, you pretty much know what I'm talking about. But the first one is the Fenty Beauty um, Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I have it in the shade number nine. They have a really good shade selection in this one, um, and it's pretty accurate in terms of the foundation shade ranges that they recommend. Um, it really works and the coverage is just so amazing. It's 
it feels like your skin but it's got a little bit more coverage so pretty much all the areas like if you have some a skin tone similar to mine or a skin type similar to mine like you would really really enjoy this i feel like it gives me really decent coverage i don't need to reach for anything else um out, you know when i'm using this so i absolutely love this one on the affordable side, I have the Morphe 2 Hint Tint Skin Tint, and I wear it in the shade Hint of Almond. Um, I accidentally bought a different shade before this, and I loved it so much that I just felt like I needed to get the right shade, and this one really works for me. I, it's just amazing. A little bit of this goes a long way, um, and builds beautifully as well. So a little bit of it will give you a nice light to medium coverage. A light coverage actually um, but build it up a little bit more and you get a really nice medium coverage it just works for everyday wear it's just so beautiful it's something that I traveled with as well because I just feel like you know it's nice it's a nice go-to product and honestly I love it I got it like two months ago and I've already reached like somewhere here I think um, so it just goes to show like how much and you don't need a lot so it, shows, it goes to show how much of it I have used up I love it um, now for foundation, I only have one that I felt like I was completely blown away by and that's because it sort of exceeded my expectations because I didn't have as many to begin with. Um, but that was the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Foundation. This is in the shade 3W1 Tawny. I, oh my gosh, I was thinking that this is going to be like a super matte foundation, like super heavy and oh my gosh, the hype behind this product is real you guys like I absolutely thoroughly thoroughly loved it um it's exactly what I'm going to be using today because I want that fuller coverage because we're getting ready for Valentine's Day so I am going to be applying this again with the same sponge because I've been loving it and I am looking forward to purchasing a pun pump for this pun <laughs> the coverage the feel and like it's just, it's amazing with this foundation. Just look at that. It's covered up pretty much everything that I wanted to and then some. I just, oh my gosh, this is minimal effort, honestly. <laughs> um, okay, so then, now for concealers, I've got three again that I've been reaching for constantly. Um, and that one of them was the Fenty Beauty um, Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I have it in the shade Deep Butter 07. This is incredible for anyone with dry skin, eczema, any of like that, any of that sort um, underneath their eyes. I still suffer from eczema. It's I'm getting a uh, new flare up just around here, and this is really great for giving that extra hydration. So if you're in that market for you know something that is nourishing and hydrating, this is absolutely amazing for that. Um, it is a little bit on the thinner consistency, but I. I it seems to work when you let it sit on your skin for a little bit and then blend it out and you get a little bit more coverage from that. Um, the other two concealers that have been amazing for me and that have been like a bit more on the fuller coverage side um, was, excuse my bottle, it's horrendous, but <laughs> was the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer and I wear it in the shade Biscuit. This reminds me so much of Sharp. Char um, sharp. <laughs> this reminds me so much of Tarte Shape Tape. This is incredible coverage. It is amazing. It doesn't budge all day. Like it stays put and it will get you through tears, sweat, all of that. So um, again, if you're looking for that Tarte Shape Tape sort of vibes um, on a more affordable side, this is amazing for that. Um, and then the other one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer um, and I have it in the shade Medium Neutral. Um, this is really great, um, again, for that hydration side of things. Um, it lasts all day. You know, it doesn't feel cakey or crepey or anything like that. I always set my concealers, even though I have dry skin underneath my eyes. I just feel like because I do have deep set creases, um, I do need to set my concealer. So I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. one today. We're going in with a nice mix of um, affordable and high end today, I guess. So I'm not taking a lot and I'm not going to be dragging it anywhere else. I feel like this is more than enough for me. Um, and then I'm going to be using that same sponge to blend it out. I just, the sponge works for everything. I'm going to let that sit for a bit. I'm going to let it sort of melt into my creases and everything and then I'll wipe it off and then set it with powder. But in the meantime, we're going to go in with contours. Now, with the contour, cream contour, I have two that, again, have just blown me away. Um, 
and they're both high end but one of them is the makeup by mario uh contour soft sculpt shaping stick in medium dark ever since i've got it i feel like this is just so easy to work with it just blends beautifully it's that really nice it's not like super warm it's just a really nice um beautiful kind of neutrally color so it just works to not only shape but then also bronze up so i really really love that um and then something else that i like even more than that is my huda beauty tentor i can't believe how late i wasn't getting this but this is in the shade light um honestly both of them even if you go in with a heavy heavy hand they blend out so beautifully it's like if you're a beginner this is something that you would absolutely benefit from because it just works that well like you know it just takes away that guesswork takes away all of that that tension that you would have like oh my gosh if it doesn't blend it's going to look like horrible and stuff but honestly these both products they just mm, they work so well i am just going to quickly use my huda beauty one today i try and sort of alternate between the two um but frankly speaking love this this one will tend to dry out a lot quicker so you want to be careful and you don't want to lose um that piece that goes on top there and i use a brush for this one the brush i feel like gives me a little bit more control as to how much product i'm putting down so it just works a bit better for me This one does tend to lean a little bit more towards the warmer side, but again, for a bronzer, it's not too bad. See, like, that was so easy, like, honestly. And it also doesn't disturb your foundation underneath, which I love. And then I like to just go in with my foundation sponge or concealer sponge or whatever, and then just sort of blend out Now for the blush, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Rare Beauty. These blushes are incredible. I have it in the shade Bliss and I'm looking forward to picking up more shades in this. Oh my gosh, this is like one of the best um, cream blushes I've ever used. This you cannot, cannot go wrong with, like honestly. Um, a little bit of this goes a long way. Two dots is literally all you need. watch I'm going to use that same brush and we're going to tap it in now this one is a little bit on the lighter side for my skin tone but honestly it works like look at that pigment it's beautiful it's gorgeous look how pretty oh my gosh I'm obsessed oh okay for powders, we're finally at that stage of powdering so you can see the concealer settled into my fine lines and stuff and we're just going to quickly wipe that just with that sponge again. I'm going to remove any of those creases. For powders, I have a cult classic and that is obviously the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is just one of the limited edition packaging but oh my gosh, this powder is just everything and more you can ask for. I'm just going to be taking a brush first. I'm going to saturate that in the powder and then just set my under eyes. I'm also just quickly going to set my eyelids with that. So once I've done a light dusting, I then go in with a little bit more powder and just Set everything again. Just like so. And then for the rest of the face, I'm actually going to go in with a pressed powder. Now, normally I would just set it with the Laura Mercier powder, but for the sake of this video, and because it has been one of my favorite powders of all time, um, I'm going to be using it today. So that's the Australia Suppression Flawless in Deep Natural. This I think since I've moved to Australia, this has been one of those powders that I absolutely, absolutely love and I'm constantly reaching for. 
I'm just going to sit all over. And then for powder bronzer, oh my gosh, you guys. Fenty is the way to go with this this year. Like, honestly, I have been loving all of our products. I feel like every category has some sort of Fenty in it. Um, so in, in the powder bronzer, obviously, I'm talking about the uh, Fenty powder bronzer. This is in the shade Island Ting. It is super, super pigmented. So you want to go in with a really, really light hand. And I am just using one of those brushes that is just going to give me a bit more control um, to blend it all out. Look at that. just love how beautiful that looks and for blush I think I have three yeah and they're actually all affordable I'm going to be using that same brush for the blush as well um, but I have oh I forgot my nose hang on all right and for blush I have quite a few <laughs> um, actually I have three um, okay so the first one that I have thoroughly loved is my L'Oreal life is a peach blush this is so pigmented and you get a ton of products. So this is going to last you a lifetime, but this is really, really incredible. Then the other one that I have absolutely loved, and this is because of the finish of this blush, this is the um, Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in Mai Tai Buy You A Drink. This is just so beautiful. It looks like nothing in the pan right now, like you would think that it's going to be really light, but believe me, when I apply this, it just gives me this really beautiful glow, really beautiful sheen. It's just incredible. Um, and the other one, I have owned a ton of these in the past, but this shade in particular has been one of my absolute favorites of late. This is the e.l.f. Uh, blush in Twinkle Pink. Again, it's got that sort of satin shimmery sort of a finish, so it's just so beautiful when you apply it on the skin. Um, between these two, like, they have totally, totally... Um, amped up my blush game. So I absolutely absolutely love these three um, But today I'm going to be using my wet n wild one. I just every time this is in front of me I just cannot resist it. So let's go in with that. I actually just swirl the brush um, In the pan and then we're just going to go in with that And it sort of um, takes care of the highlight as well So sometimes I'll just Skip the highlight and just apply the blush and it's just incredible. And because we're going in for that soft um, Valentine look, this is just so perfect for it. My eczema is coming back around this eye as well. So if you see my eye having a lot of texture, I do apologize. It's just having a little bit of a moment at the moment. Having a little bit of a moment at the moment. Wow, really wow. Vocabulary seems to be escaping me today. Now for the fun part. Again, I have three in this category. Um, highlights. Oh my goodness. I love a good highlight. I never used to be a highlight person, but off late, I just want to be glowing to the gods. So um, I have a few that have been constants um, in the last year. So the first one is my Revlon Skin Lights. Um, Prismatic Highlighter. This is in Daybreak Glimmer. This has been such an incredible formulation and I feel like the newer products from Revlon have been killing it. This is one of those. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Ooh, I forgot to add a bronzer um, from Revlon Skin Lights. So um, along with the Fenty, Fenty Beauty Island Ting Sunstalker Bronzer, um, Revlon Skin Lights has been amazing as well. This is in the shade 002 Cons 10. This has been really, really awesome as well and has been one of those that I have constantly reached for. I forgot to include this earlier, but again, cannot go wrong with that. Um, and in that same line, the highlight as we were talking about. Um, and then again, Kylie Cosmetics reformu reformulated and launched at Mecca. And her highlight in the shade Cheers Darling, Chef's Kiss. It's so similar to the Skin Lights, but I feel like this one is a little bit of a uh, uh, solid formula. Like, it's not as powdery, and it's just so good. I mean, I honestly reach for it so much, and it's kind of like that glow from within sort of a look. 
the last one, which I will be using today, of course, um, is my Jouer highlighter. Um, this is in rose gold. This is one of those highlights that will sort of sit on top of your skin and, you know, people will notice that it's a highlight. But there's something about this that I just absolutely love. It is stunning and it looks beautiful on the skin as well. Um, and because we have that rosy tones and stuff like that, this is going to look fantastic today. It is a little bit on the um, um, shimmery side and powdery side. But you guys, like, look at that. Oh, this gives me the chills. I always apply the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. We're done with the base, pretty much. Um, I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera because we're going to jump into the eyeshadows, but I just quickly want to show you what I've been loving for my brows of late. I have absolutely been loving the Morphe Brow Powder. This is in the shade Brow cold brew um it's amazing i haven't been able to put it down since the time i got it so i absolutely absolutely love it and it's really affordable as well so i'm just going to quickly do my brows um and then we'll come back and do eyeshadows together all right brows are in place um now in terms of eyeshadow i have a few palettes just in front of me um again i have a lot of palettes that are constantly being rotated so I don't have something that I absolutely like ride or die like top used or whatever but there is one palette that I seem to reach for constantly um, and then I'll change my mind because I want to use something else that's in my collection because that also needs to be used um, but that is the Natasha Denona glam palette now I love all of her palettes and I try to use all of them on a regular basis because they are expensive, they're pricey, and I obviously purchase them, so I do want to use them up. But then this particular palette has been one of those that I just absolutely, absolutely love. And it's just, I, I cannot believe, like, it, I'm surprised myself that I like such a neutral palette. Like, it's a very cool toned, very neutral, um, you know, something, like, I always reach for warm shadows, but then ever since I've gotten this, like, I just constantly reach for it, so... It is surprising to me as well, but this is absolutely amazing, amazing palette. And I constantly seem to reach for it. Every time I'm like, okay, I don't know what to use. Like, I'll go for this one. And it's just, it just works. Um, so absolutely, absolutely love that. And good for me because that is about $100. <laughs> um, on the more affordable side, but yet from Sephora, I love Zoeva palettes. And one that I purchased, I think it was early last year or something like that was the Spice of Life palette. Um, this is what I'm talking about, like warm tones. I just absolutely, absolutely love this palette. It's just so, it's, it just, it's a palette that just works. You know what I mean? Like it's just a beautiful everyday um, palette and you get multiple looks out of it. You get, you've got all your basics. Um, I don't think you would want anything more from a palette and it's really lightweight and it's affordable. So absolutely absolutely love this one i think it's one of those palettes that you know you can do with your eyes closed which you should be but you know what i mean <laughs> um and then the last one that i have in front of me is the huda beauty rose gold remastered palette um i from memory i remember a lot of people did not like this palette but when i tried it out i absolutely absolutely loved it which was early last year and since then i have reached for it quite a few times and I feel like every time I use it, I like it more and more and more. So I wanted to give this a big shout out because I absolutely love it. And because we are in that Valentine time, um, I think I'll be using this one today because of all the tones that are in this palette. So let's get in to creating a look. Um, and I probably will just have music go over it.
don't have a favorite eye pencil um, to really talk about. I've just been reaching for the K-Beauty one. So I'm actually not going to say that this is one of my favorites, but we need it for this look, so we're gonna use it. All right, for mascara, I have two favorites. Now, I'm only including one in today's video because the other one is in my purse and I cannot be bothered. So, <laughs> I'm just going to quickly um, apply this um, on both my lower and upper lashes. And then we are going to jump into lipsticks. Okay, I realize that this video has turned out to be really, really long. Um, and I do appreciate if you've stuck around this far. Um, let's just quickly jump onto lips and then finish off the look. Um, so basically for lip liners, I have absolutely been loving my Essence lip liners. I've had this for so long. I've got quite a few in my collection. And these are really amazing everyday lip shades um, and also like they last a really long time so you cannot go wrong with these and they're really really super affordable so today I'm just going to be going in with like a like a neutrally sort of a color let's go in with charming now for lipsticks um oh my gosh this year I had an amazing luck with lipsticks I've got quite a few in front of me that I just quickly want to mention um, the Huda Beauty matte lipsticks. Oh my gosh, these are incredible. I've got So this is the reds version in the mini power bullet lipsticks and I also have the neutrals or the naturals um, Nudes, I mean, um, these are so great. They're so buttery smooth. I love them. They remind me a lot of the Mac Matte formulas except they're a little bit more creamier than that I also thoroughly, thoroughly loved the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks. Now these ones you do have to be a little bit careful when you're working with them because they do sort of turn out to be a little bit patchy so you want to be patient. You want to let them dry before you sort of move your lips around. But these are really amazing, really long lasting and I don't see, like I don't experience any transfer in masks as well so these are really great for that. Um, something else, oh my gosh, I think um, these by far have been my absolute favorites for last year. Um, these are the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayons. The, these are like the bullet lipsticks plus the lip liner all in one. And they do come with a sharpener at the end as well. Oh my gosh, these are so great. Oh, they, they are so comfortable on the lips. They don't dry them out or anything like that. I've got various shades in this as well and they're amazing. They're all super incredible. And then I also totally loved the L'Oreal Paris. I forget what these are called, so I'll leave it on the screen somewhere. But these are so great. Oh my gosh, they're so comfortable on the lips. It's like a velvet formula and I absolutely thoroughly loved using these. I can't wait to pick up more shades in that. In that. Um, and then of course I have one of the uh, Kylie lip kits and I absolutely love this. This is in Sweater Weather. Um, it's a really nice, beautiful, comfortable formula. Um, and the shade also is really <laughs> great. Um, but I don't seem to find them to be extra drying or anything like that. They sit really comfortably on the lip. Um, and again, I they're not transfer proof or resistant, but they I just really like the color and the formula of it and I find them enjoyable to use. Um, and for glosses, there's only one that I'm going to quickly mention and that's the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I've got various shades in this. These are incredible. I thoroughly love them and they remind me a lot of the Fenty lip glosses. Um, they are totally, totally worth it. And lastly, the Fenty Heat lip gloss. These are amazing lip plumping glosses. Um, totally, totally worth the money and totally worth the hype. Now, to apply something on my lip right now, I think I'm going to go in with... I think I'm going to mix these two shades. Um, this one is Self Starter and then this one is ITs. This on its own is really bright, so I'm going to tone it down and I'm not going to like make an ombre or any of that nonsense. I'm actually going to apply this all over. And lastly, the setting sprays. I've only got two and they're both, you absolutely need to go get them. So the first one, again, I've been using this for a couple of years, maybe three years now. Um, the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. This one will make your makeup last all day long. It's not going to budge. 
Um, it is truly long wearing and absolutely amazing. And the other one is the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. This is great for that hydration, that glow. And again, it gives you, it makes your makeup last a lot longer. Um, it does, like both of these formulas are a little bit sticky, so they just sort of whack it onto your face and it's going to stay there and it's not going to budge. Um, quite often I sort of mix these two just so that I get a little bit of both in my um, on my skin and just makes it feel a little bit better. I don't know why, but like honestly, both of them on its own or both of them together, they just work wonderfully. I am just going to go in with this one because we do have quite a bit of glow underneath and it's going to peek through because it's summer and I'm a little bit of a combination skin. So let's just quickly... Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys found this video useful. If there is anything that you're keen to pick up, um, honestly, like any of these products that I've mentioned, they are absolutely amazing and you cannot go wrong with them. So I would highly recommend if you wanted to try something out, you know, you can. This is your your chance to go out and splurge a little bit if you wanted to. But yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. I just want to wish you guys a very happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys are doing really well and staying safe and healthy. Um, but until next time, you guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.